Chapter 1141, Shell, 3. In a flash, Han Kangming's body was penetrated by the blood-colored light beams. Han Kangming, don't let me find your original self, or else you'll be killed, Blood Moon Holy Lord said. You don't know how to appreciate favors. Han Kangming broke free from the metal chains and fought the Blood Moon Holy Lord. The deafening battle caused the ground to shake and mountains to collapse. Thud, boom, as a blood-colored shadow collided into a white body. A powerful wind was raked up in the sky. In the next second, both Blood Moon Holy Lord and Han Kangming crashed down and made an extremely deep dent on the ground. Cough. Blood Moon Holy Lord had blood on the side of his lips as he slowly stood up from the dent. Han Kangming was also severely injured. Their skills could not be used to the best on this mainland and were highly restricted. Has the power of karma also reached its maximum? Han Kangming mumbled. A while later, Ling Yan's soul disappeared from this body. Han Kangming resumed his past aloofness. Seeing that he was heavily injured, he frowned and immediately bolted away in the horizon without a trace. On a certain mountain peak in central mainland, Ling Yan slowly opened his cold eyes. That's too risky, Ling Yan. The little azure dragon looked at Ling Yan and said, It's fine, Ling Yan said, It's fine? The little azure dragon scoffed coldly. You used the power of karma to enter your body. Heavenly Emperor must have sensed it now. All right, of course you aren't afraid of Heavenly Emperor, but what about the Heavenly Tao? Are you not afraid that the Heavenly Tao will sense it? Heavenly Tao Ling Yan looked up at the sky, and his lips curled into an icy smile. I'm afraid the Heavenly Tao has already become a demon down now. Whether I'm afraid or not, it is something I'll have to face eventually. Are ah, the little as your dragon sighed. I hope that the heavenly Tao does not sense it. Otherwise, all your efforts will be wasted. Oh right, what happened to heavenly emperor? Have you defeated him? The little as your dragon looked at Ling Yan and asked. Ling Yan chuckled. My body is wounded, but he is nowhere better either. He probably will not attack Miss Yi for the time being. What about your body? The little azure dragon asked curiously. It probably ran away, Ling Yan said and laughed. Ran away? The little azure dragon was surprised. If it's me, I would instinctively escape first and find a place to recuperate if I see that I am injured. His instincts are mine too, thus, it should have fled. Ling Yan explained. In Wind Cloud City, as Yi Kington looked the Blood Moon Elder's huge, hideous, and horrifying body. She wanted to stay away from him for some reason. Holy lady can you give me some respect? Blood Moon Elder put on a long face. I know that I am a little ugly right now but you can act a little at the very least. Yi King Tung stared at him blankly. Was this a little ugly? This was simply too hideous to see. Is it really that scary? Blood Moon Elder piled smiles on his face and looked at Yi King Tung. It's better for you to not smile. Yi King Tung shifted her gaze away instinctively as her eyes hurt. She really wanted to take a mirror and let the Blood Moon Elder see how unbearable of a sight his smiling face was. The Blood Moon Sect Elder stared at her. Chapter 1142 Giving One's All in Acting? 1. Aren't the two of you too dizzy with success? All of a sudden, the little white tiger poked its head out from Yi King Tung's arms and said, don't forget that the ten cities are connected, with the fall of Wind Cloud City and Sky Stars City, the Yu ancient clan will definitely be alarmed. Yi King Tung's brows furrowed suddenly when she heard the little white tiger. Yi King Tung was surprised by the appearance of Blood Moon Holy Lord and Han Kangming, and she had forgotten about this issue. Yi King Tung took a look at the Blood Moon Elder and then turned around and walked out of the city. However, before she could walk far, a cold voice suddenly filled the entire wind cloud city. Yi Kington looked in the sky almost instinctively. A middle-aged man in a long golden robe was standing in the air silently, exuding a frightening martial aura. As Yi Kington looked up, the golden-robed man also looked down at Yi Kington at the same time. It seems that it's you who annihilated my two teams. The golden-robed man looked at Yi Kington and said without emotions, This is bad. Yi Kington frowned deeply as an inauspicious feeling surged within her. This person's cultivation base was unfathomable. Even though this mainland could suppress a cultivator's cultivation base, the energy inside one's body was not suppressed. For Yi Kington, her body was filled with primordial chi, 
but the gold-robed man in the air had already advanced from primordial chi to the force of a heavenly venerate. To advance from primordial chi to the force of a heavenly venerate, one's martial realm had to at least be in the heavenly venerate realm. Even if Yi Kington had a similar martial realm as the gold-robed man, Yi Kington was using primordial chi while the gold-robed man was using the force of a heavenly venerate. These two energies were on entirely different levels. A world of differences. Yi Kington naturally knew that she did not have the slightest chance of victory when opposing the golden-robed man, who possessed the force of a heavenly venerate. At this instant, Blood Moon Elder's fists were clenched tightly as a somber expression filled his eyes. Elder Yinfo, I told you to guard Wind Cloud City and look after Sky Stars City back then but is this your reply to me? Suddenly, the golden-robed man looked at Blood Moon Elder and said coldly. Blood Moon Elder was slightly taken aback by the gold-robed man's words. It was then when he suddenly remembered that his current identity was Elder Yinfo of the Yu Ancient Clan. General have mercy. The Blood Moon Elder's eyes brightened. His huge body suddenly kneeled down with a fearful expression. General it's this lady. She lured me away from the base. The Blood Moon Elder knew that there were a few generals and one commander who came from the Yu Ancient Clan this time. Logically speaking, the captain would not appear easily. Thus, this golden-robed man before him should be a general. Are you sure you want to find an excuse? The golden-robed man asked, Blood Moon Elder secretly sighed in relief. It seemed that he had guessed correctly, this gold-robed man was indeed a general. General, I am to blame. Please give me a chance. I will chop this lady into pieces. I will kill her. The Blood Moon Elder shouted sternly. What are you still waiting for then? The golden-robed man said expressionlessly. Thank you for giving me a chance to amend my mistakes. The Blood Moon Elder stood up slowly before turning around to shoot a furious glare at Yi Kington and secretly gave her a wink. This lowly ant, I will kill you. The Blood Moon Elder hollered in rage. Chapter 1143. Giving one's all in acting, too. Can you do it? Yi Kington noticed Blood Moon Elder's discreet action but did not give anything away from her expression. You have a death wish. Then, the Blood Moon Elder threw a punch towards Yi Kington. Yi Kington's expression changed slightly after sensing the might from Blood Moon Elder's fist. This Blood Moon Elder was actually for it. Swoosh. Yi Kington naturally did not dare to fight head on and leapt away instantly avoiding Blood Moon Elder's powerful punch that was sufficient to cause an earthquake. Beach do you only know how to escape? The Blood Moon Elder shouted coldly when he failed to get her with the first strike. Yi Kington unsheathed her sword and immediately slashed down at the Blood Moon Elder. Nevertheless, the Scarlet Sword Gleam only left a tiny scratch on the Blood Moon Elder's body. Am I actually so powerful? Too powerful. My unparalleled defense the Blood Moon Elder was shocked to see the tiny scratch on his body. However, this was not the time for him to marvel at his might. He looked at Yi Kington and feigned viciousness. Lowly ant from this low-level mainland, you've angered me. Then, the Blood Moon Elder stamped a foot down at Yi Kington, noticing the situation. Yi Kington dashed ahead swiftly. The Blood Moon Elder immediately chased after her. At this instant, Blood Moon Elder's colossal frame rampaged through Wind Cloud City, and many buildings in the city collapsed from the collision as though it was a natural disaster. Without turning back, Yi Kington had fled out of Wind Cloud City in no time. Do you only know how to run? The Blood Moon Elder pursued her with all his might and shouted thunderously. Just like that, the two people gradually got far away from the city. Until some time later, near a spring at a mountain valley, the Blood Moon Elder shouted, Holy Lady, stop running. Hearing that, Yi Kington turned around to see that the Blood Moon Elder was standing beside a spring and had stopped the chase. It seems that the Yu Ancient Clan's general did not chase over the Blood Moon Elder looked behind, and there was no sight of the golden robed man. With the two people singing the same tune and with one running and one chasing, they managed to bluff the golden robed man. Yi Kington also sighed in relief at the situation. The Yu Ancient Clan General's martial skills were too domineering and given Yi Kington's combat powers at the moment, she was not his opponent at all. What to do? Worry was etched across Blood Moon Elder's face. The Yu Ancient Clan is too powerful in general. It is simply impossible to stop them with just a few of us. To oppose the Yu Ancient Clan's main force, 
This mainland required powerful figures who were around at least Yin Yang perfected Lord Sixth Heaven and even the Yang Lord Realm. Even the Yang Lord did not have much chance at winning against a general of the Yu ancient clan, and this was ignoring the fact that there was still another mysterious commander above the generals. Yi Kington was the only Yang Lord in Falling Sky Valley. If those Yang Lords from Peerless School, Phantom Valley, and Biiming Man joined forces, there was a possibility that they could contend against the Yu ancient clan's main force. But despite so, they could only fight against the main force, and there was still no way to deal with the three generals and commander. Return to Falling Sky Valley first. Yi Kington looked at Blood Moon Elder and said. Blood Moon Elder nodded. They could only return to Falling Sky Valley for now. It was already considered impressive for them to be able to take down two cities by chance on this trip. However, before they could take any action, Blood Moon Elder's expression changed abruptly, and he glared at Yi Kington furiously. This and from a low level mainland. Let me see where else can you flee to. Chapter 1144 Giving One's All in Acting. 3. After Blood Moon Elder finished his sentence, he threw a heavy punch at Yi Kington. Yi Kington frowned slightly, shifting her gaze a little. She saw that the golden robed man was already floating above them and observing them. This fellow actually came over, Yi Kington lamented deep down, but she knew that the show that she and Blood Moon Elder put up would not end soon, boom. A deafening sound echoed in the mountain valley. Blood Moon Elder's fist missed the target and caused a huge dent in the ground. Humphrey, suddenly, a loud scoff could be heard from above, General, I. Blood Moon Elder immediately kneeled with one knee on the ground and looked up into the sky. Elder Yinfo, are you unable to defeat a Yang Lord from this low-level mainland? The golden robe man stared at Blood Moon Elder and questioned coldly. General this lady's skills are exceptional. Please give me some more time. I will definitely be able to capture her alive Blood Moon Elder said with cupped fists. Capture her alive? The gold-robed man said coldly, what would I want you to capture her alive for? Then, then please wait a moment, General. I will definitely present her head to you. Blood Moon Elder said hurriedly, good for nothing. The golden-robed man waved his hand. You can't even settle such a small matter properly. Get lost. I will do it myself, noted. Blood Moon Elder retreated backward immediately and made a path for the golden-robed man. Almost instantly. The gold-robed man landed on the ground slowly, and his cold eyes sized up Yi Kington. Oh, I never expected that you are already in Yin Yang perfected Lord Eighth Heaven at such a young age in this low-level mainland. It's indeed considered a miracle. So? Yi Kington said coldly. Ha ha. The gold-robed man chuckled. I cherish talents. You are pretty gifted in martial cultivation. If you are willing to join and serve the Yu ancient clan for life, I can consider giving you a way out and spare your life. What do you think? Yi Kington sneered in her heart after hearing what the golden robed man said. While what he said sounded nice, putting it plainly, he was merely telling her to become a slave of the Yu ancient clan. However, Yi Kington had never thought of turning her back against this mainland that she grew up in and joining the so called Yu ancient clan just to keep her own life. What happens if I refuse? A cold glint flashed across her eyes as Yi Kington looked at the gold-robed man. Refuse. Yi Kington's reply caught the gold-robed man by surprise. In the past, their ancient Yu clan annexed low-level mainlands, and the powerful talents from these mainlands fought to become a slave for the ancient Yu clan to protect their lives. Yet, this lady from a low-level mainland actually wanted to refuse this offer? Ha ha. Of course. The ancient Yu clan will not force you for such matters. However, if you're unwilling to join, then you are an enemy, and since you're an enemy, the only route is to die. Afterward, an overpowering force appeared and enveloped Yi Kington in it. Yi Kington pondered after feeling the golden robed man's aura. His martial skills were at least in the heavenly venerate realm, and he possessed the power of a heavenly venerate. Furthermore, even though coming to this mainland would reduce his cultivation realm, he was still at the peak of Yin Yang Perfected Lord Eighth Heaven while she was merely an ordinary Yin Yang Perfected Lord Eighth Heaven. Chapter 1145 Giving One's All in Acting, for, regardless of martial realm or the source of energy in the body, Yi Kington was inferior to this golden-robed man. If they fought, 
the chance of her winning would be less than 20% even if she used all her cards. If they did what Ling Yan said and left Wind Cloud City earlier from the start, she and Blood Moon Holy Lord would not meet this golden robed man. However, the Blood Moon Holy Lord's appearance completely disrupted Yi Qingtong's momentum, and she could not retreat early as per Ling Yan's plan. If I join forces with Blood Moon Elder, the chance of winning is only about 30% Yi Qingtong estimated in her heart. A 30% chance of winning was still too dangerous, and even if she could really win, injuries were unavoidable. However, Yi Qingtong was at least 40% confident that she could escape. Since Blood Moon Elder wanted to enter the ancient Yu clan's headquarters, there was no need to bother with him, and the success rate of fleeing alone would be much higher. It seems that you ants from this low level mainland have a backbone. However, the price of having a backbone is to pay it with your life. As the golden robed man spoke, he swung a palm out. The power of a heavenly venerate rampaged through the place and slashed toward Yi Qingtong forcefully. However, at this instant, the blood moon elder who was standing behind the golden robed man acted, and his eyes twinkled dangerously. Swoosh. The moment when the gold robed man launched his attack, the Blood Moon Elder suddenly smashed his fist at him. Sensing the frightening force that was coming in his way, the golden robed man was slightly startled, and he looked behind instinctively. However, what entered his eyes was a metal fist that was comparable to a small mountain peak. The golden robed man did not have any defense against the Blood Moon Elder. Caught off guard. He got hit by the Blood Moon Elder's punch that was thrown with all his might. A deafening sound erupted, and the golden robed man was subsequently buried under the Blood Moon Elder's fist. Boom, boom, boom. As Blood Moon Elder's punch landed, the ground shattered, and the numerous cracks on the ground extended out like little snakes. Ha ha ha, idiots of ancient Yu clan. This person is a general with such a brain. Looks like I can be the clan master of your ancient Yu clan. The Blood Moon Elder guffawed when he succeeded with one strike. This new body was truly beyond Blood Moon Elder's imagination. Apart from perfect defense, it also had an exceptional perfect strength. Yi Kington was surprised by Blood Moon Elder's sudden rebellion. Although she knew that the Blood Moon Elder would definitely wait for an opportunity to attack. His timing was rather unexpected. What Yi Kington was more surprised was that this golden robed man was completely unsuspecting of Elder Yinfo. Otherwise, if he had any guard up against Blood Moon Elder, given his skills, Blood Moon Elder would definitely not be able to succeed with one strike. However, it was almost too unrealistic to kill that golden robed man with just one punch from Blood Moon Elder. Elder Yinfo. Suddenly, a bone curdling cold voice that had a trace of anger sounded from the ground. Boom. Before their naked eyes, the ground exploded, and the golden robed man emerged from underground. His golden Chinese robe was stained with dust, and there was a glaring trace of blood on the corner of his lips, making him appear rather miserable. Chapter 1146, You Are Thinking Too Much, 1. Even this can't kill you? The Blood Moon Elder looked in disbelief at the golden robed man with a perplexed expression. The Blood Moon Elder currently had full confidence in the powers of his new body. Although his recent punch was not earth shattering, it should have no problem crushing a few powerful cultivators. Further, the golden robed man was caught off guard and received the full force of the blow. However, who would have thought that this golden robed man could still survive after receiving the full force of this blow? Elder Yin Fo you dare to betray the Yu clan? The golden robed man said sternly to Blood Moon Elder with eyes completely devoid of expression. When he heard the golden robed man's words, Blood Moon Elder's expression immediately changed. He waved his hand repeatedly. Lord General you are mistaken what happened just now was a misunderstanding my blow was meant to crush that girl into dust who knew that Lord General would rush over so swiftly and block my fist. When he heard Blood Moon Elder's nonsense, a cold light glittered in the golden robed man's eyes. Are you taking me for a fool? No, no, Lord General. Even if I had the nerve. I would not dare to offend you. I would certainly not dare to betray the ancient Yu clan. If you don't believe me, I can demonstrate again with that. Blood Moon Elder threw another punch without giving the golden robed man any chance to react. 
The golden-robed man would never have imagined that this elder Yinfo would actually throw another punch at him and was caught completely off guard. He was sent flying by the oncoming fist. The Blood Moon Elder's punch was extremely fast and instantly sent the golden-robed man flying. A few hundred meters away, a mountain peak collapsed under the impact of the golden-robed man's body. This time, even Yi Qingtung, who was standing nearby, was completely bewildered, not to speak of the golden-robed man who had been ambushed twice in rapid succession. Ha 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 ha, I've always said that with your brains, why are you the general? Brat, veterans always have the advantage. You are just too inexperienced. Ha ha. The Blood Moon Elder burst out laughing. When she saw the Blood Moon Elder's smug look, Yi Kington really wanted to go up and slap him. Considering the terrifying strength that Blood Moon Elder's current body possessed, the golden-robed man was completely within his control. He could curb the golden-robed man's movements, and together with Yi Kington's destructive black flame, the two of them working in tandem could certainly kill the golden-robed man on the spot. However, the Blood Moon Elder had missed two wonderful opportunities. Such great opportunities to kill the golden-robed old man, but the Blood Moon Elder had only given him two punches. Ha 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 ha. Having succeeded twice, the Blood Moon Elder laughed loudly and turned to Yi Qingtung, his face filled with pride. In a smug tone, he loudly said, Holy Lady, I think we have overestimated the General of the Ancient Yu Clan. When she heard the Blood Moon Elder's words, Yi Qingtung could not help but rub her forehead. She wanted to say something but was interrupted by Blood Moon Elder. Holy Lady, we don't need to flee. If we work together, we can kill this General. No, in fact, we don't need to work together. I myself can kill him. When Yi Kington looked at the smug Blood Moon Elder, she could not summon up even half a smile. The situation was not as simple as the Blood Moon Elder had assumed. Chapter 1147, You Are Thinking Too Much, Too. If the Blood Moon Elder's new body was also in the Heavenly Venerate Realm, then perhaps he could really do as he said. If his body possessed the same power as a Heavenly Venerate, he could just use the brute strength of his powerful body and bludgeon the golden-robed man to death. Unfortunately, Yi Kington had yet to detect a heavenly venerate's power in the Blood Moon Elder's body. They could only depend on this body's brute strength to crush the golden-robed man to death if they captured him. But Blood Moon Elder had already missed the opportunity to capture the golden-robed man. As long as the golden-robed man was not an idiot, he would certainly not give Blood Moon Elder another chance. Thud. The mountain peak had suddenly exploded and an afteramage of golden light flashed across the void. The golden-robed old man was floating in midair, looking at Blood Moon Elder sinisterly. Elder Yin Fo you have indeed betrayed the Yu Clan do you know what happens to those who betray the Yu Clan? The golden-robed man glared at Blood Moon Elder and said coldly. Ha ha ha. When he heard the golden-robed old man's words, Blood Moon Elder laughed coldly. He said arrogantly. Since when have I betrayed the Yu clan? It's just that I can't stand the sight of you. I feel that I am much more powerful than you. You should give your position as general of the ancient Yu clan to me instead. How about this? I'll kill you today and take your place as general of the ancient Yu clan. What do you think? When he heard Blood Moon Elder's words, the golden robed man's expression became rather puzzled. At first, the golden-robed man had felt that it did not make sense for Elder Yinfo to suddenly betray him. Logically, it was improbable that Elder Yinfo would betray the ancient Yu clan, and he had no reason to become a traitor. But the golden-robed man felt it was more likely that Elder Yinfo was merely ambitious and wanted to become the general because he disliked him. So you are competing with me for the generalship? The golden-robed man laughed coldly. Why? Am I not powerful enough to take your place as general? I think there should be no problem. Are your fists as big as mine? Blood Moon Elder waved his right arm, and an iron hard fist, as big as a small mountain, waved in front of the golden robed man. Swoosh. Without any warning, the Blood Moon Elder suddenly grabbed at the golden robed man. However, the golden robed man was prepared. His body flickered and he immediately dodged. The golden-robed man was aware of the terrifying strength that Elder Yinfo's body possessed. Even he would suffer disastrous consequences if Elder Yinfo caught him in his hands. Elder Yinfo, 
You have a death wish, the golden robed man dodged Blood Moon Elder's blow and stood proudly in the void. Ha 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 ha, little one, we are in different realms. Also, my body is much more powerful than yours. On what basis do you oppose me? The Blood Moon Elder laughed loudly and uncontrollably. When he heard the Blood Moon Elder's words, the golden robed man said blandly, In this mainland, all realms are the same however. The ultimate source of strength in one's body can be of different qualities. As the golden robed man finished speaking, a wild wind started to blow within the void. Ripples started to appear, accompanied by the suffocating power of a heavenly venerate. When he felt the force of a heavenly venerate, the blood moon elder's expression immediately changed. It was as if his body was being crushed by the heavenly mountain that had fallen from the ninth heaven. Boom! The earth under blood moon elder's feet instantly shattered, and his upright body was forced to bend under the oppressive power of a heavenly venerate. Chapter 1148 You are thinking too much. 3. This. At that moment, the Blood Moon Elder looked frightened. The power of his new body was unable to withstand the oppressive force of the golden robed man's aura. Do you still want to be general? The golden robed man stood in the void. His bland gaze fell on the Blood Moon Elder, and he spoke coldly. However, before the Blood Moon Elder could speak, Yi Qingtong drew her sword. The crimson sword glow seemed to pierce the horizon as it slashed straight at the golden robed man. Although the golden robed man was powerful, the strength of his body could not be compared with that of the Blood Moon Elder. When Yi Qingtong's sword struck the Blood Moon Elder's body, it had no effect. But if it struck the golden robed man's body, even with the protection of his heavenly venerate powers, he would probably be uncomfortable. Swoosh. An ear splitting noise rang out and in the next instant, the golden robed man transformed into a shadow and vanished. Boom! The crimson sword glow struck by Yi King Tung extended for a distance of 10 meters, and its aftershock completely destroyed a mountain peak. A meaningless struggle. The golden robed man's figure appeared again. His inky black hair blew in the wind. He looked down on Yi King Tung like a supreme master. Kneel. The golden robed man's heavenly venerate power rushed forth again and crushed Yi King Tung. Boom. At that moment, Yi King Tung was trying to withstand enormous pressure. Her body felt as if it weighed a ton, and it instantly crushed the ground under her feet. At that moment, a black mist shrouded Yi King Tung's body and the power of the heavenly demon devouring bloodline rushed forth. It frantically devoured the golden robed man's heavenly venerate power. A pity that Yi King Tung's heavenly demon devouring bloodline was not of sufficiently high level, or it could instantly and completely devour the golden robed man's ultimate source of strength and convert it for her own use. Oh, when the golden robed man saw the black mist that surfaced around Yi King Tung's body, he could not help but frown. Heavenly Demon Bloodline Are you a member of the Jiang family? The power of the Heavenly Demon Bloodline was unique to the family of Central Mainland's Domain Monarch. Only members of the Jiang family had the Heavenly Demon Bloodline. When he recognized the Heavenly Demon Bloodline in Yi King Tung's body, the golden robed man assumed that she was a member of the Jiang family. When she heard that, Yi King Tung rolled her eyes. It looked as if the golden robed man of the ancient Yu clan had assumed she was part of the central mainland domain monarch's family after seeing that she possessed the heavenly demon's bloodline. Yi King Tung did not correct his mistake but laughed coldly and said, Since you know I am part of central mainland's domain monarch's family, how dare you act so impetuously? When he heard that, the golden robed man said expressionlessly, the ancient Yu clan has never had anything to do with the Jiang family. It was you who was too impolite. Even the domain monarch himself might not dare to act like that. Since you have violated the terms of peace between the two tribes, I will kill you and send your head to the domain monarch. Before Yi Kington could continue speaking, the golden robed man's expression suddenly changed, and he swiftly hid himself somewhere in the distance. Thud. The place where the golden robed man was standing suddenly contracted. At the peak of its contraction, it violently exploded. If the golden robed man had fled a little slower, he would have been crushed by the force of the distorted space. Who is it? Since you are here, why not show yourself? The golden robed man spoke coldly with a stern expression. Just as the golden robed man finished speaking, a white robed old man suddenly appeared in the void. Space technique. The golden robed man frowned deeply as he looked at the old man standing casually nearby. 
Chapter 1149, Ultimate Elder, 1. Space Technique, the golden-robed man frowned deeply as he looked at the old man standing casually nearby. The space technique was one of the most powerful and mysterious forces. Legend had it that when cultivated to the highest level, the space technique allowed one to manipulate space at will. Within the span of a single breath, one could traverse a distance of 10,000 miles. The ultimate elder. Blood Moon Elder shuddered when he saw the new arrival. This white-haired old man dressed in white robes was certainly the ultimate elder. That old pervert his power is comparable to that of the Holy Lord he may even be more powerful than the Holy Lord in some aspects. Blood Moon Elder looked at the ultimate elder in shock. Although the Blood Moon Holy Lord was the spiritual incarnation of the Heavenly Emperor, the power of the Blood Moon Holy Lord could be said to be unrivaled in this mainland. But this ultimate elder had been fighting the Blood Moon Holy Lord for years, from which one could deduce how powerful he was. Hey little girl, haven't I seen you somewhere before? The ultimate elder's gaze suddenly fell on Ye Kington. You haven't just seen me before. Once, you used a force seal and frightened my thousand league horse until it stiffened up and couldn't move. The corners of Ye Kington's mouth twitched. The ultimate elder was one of the three legendary powerful cultivators in this mainland. Besides him, there was the Pagoda Sword Master, who had left this mainland long ago, and the Blood Moon Holy Lord. But this ultimate elder could be said to be devoted to the Blood Moon Holy Lord. For many years, he had hunted him without giving up. Oh is that so when he heard that, ultimate elder propped his chin on his hands and thought for a while. Then he suddenly slapped his thigh that's right. I remember now, I was hunting the Blood Moon Holy Lord at that time. The moment he mentioned the Blood Moon Holy Lord, Yi Kington felt her head ache. So it was that younger brother she had picked up along the way that had turned into an invincible slayer. This ultimate elder was certainly very clear about things related to the Blood Moon Holy Lord. When the golden robed man saw the ultimate elder chatting with Yi Kington as if no one else existed, he felt neglected. His expression darkened and he glared at the ultimate elder and said, Lord, are you overlooking something? When the ultimate elder heard that, he turned and studied the golden robed man. You are the invader of central mainland? Although ultimate elder came and went as he pleased, he had noticed that central mainland had been invaded. You can interpret it that way if you like, said the golden robed man. Did you ask my permission before entering this mainland? asked the ultimate elder. We of the ancient Yu clan do not have the habit of consulting dead people. The golden robed man laughed coldly. Before the ultimate elder could continue speaking, the power of a heavenly venerate rushed forth. It swiftly sealed the area and pressed down towards the ultimate elder. When he saw that, a cold light shone in ultimate elder's eyes. He raised his right hand and pointed at the void in front of him. The next second, they could see that the surrounding space rapidly twist, as if heaven and earth were exchanging places. The golden robed man's heavenly venerate powers were largely absorbed by the twisted space. Ah, ah, I didn't expect this mainland to have a powerful cultivator who understands the space technique not bad. The golden robed man looked at the ultimate elder, and his lips curved upwards. This is interesting. Otherwise, this excursion to exterminate this mainland would be too boring. Chapter 1150, Ultimate Elder, 2. Enough nonsense, let's fight to the death. Ultimate Elder etched out a symbol with his hand, and the twisted space started to press towards golden robed man. A strange lotus shaped demonic flame suddenly surfaced around the golden robed man and burned the surrounding space. Extraordinary flame. When he saw that, the ultimate elder frowned slightly. Before the ultimate elder had time to think, the golden robed man had already escaped the twisted space. He pointed at the ultimate elder. When he saw that, the ultimate elder grunted coldly and also reached out with his finger. When the two fingers met, an earth-shattering explosion rang out. As she watched the fight between the ultimate elder and the golden robed man, Yi Kington swiftly concluded that the ultimate elder and golden robed man were both powerful cultivators at the same level. Like the golden robed man, the ultimate elder possessed the power of a heavenly venerate. Apart from that, he had also cultivated the extremely mysterious space technique. This ultimate elder had lived for many years in this mainland. If not for the lack of spirit energy in this mainland, 
he would have already become a powerful cultivator in the realm of a holy venerate. It was already a miracle that he had forcibly cultivated the power of a holy venerate while in the realm of Yin Yang perfected lord. At that moment, Yi Kington could see that the ultimate elder was not losing to the golden robed man. As he raised his hands, space ripped and poured out wildly like rain, forcing the golden robed man to retreat. Not bad. Carry on. A burning luster surfaced in the golden robed man's eyes. He laughed wildly as his entire person immediately shot skywards. Chaotic fury. At that instant, an extraordinary flame in the shape of a lotus flower surfaced around the golden robed man. He pointed at the sky and laughed coldly. As the golden robed man spoke, endless flames rapidly fell from the void above. Devour space. When he saw that, the ultimate elder right hand forcefully grabbed at the void. The next second, the space within a radius of a hundred meters was torn, and black holes appeared. All the flames were absorbed into them. Space return. The ultimate elder's finger dabbed lightly in front of him, and the lotus-shaped extraordinary flame that had been absorbed by the twisted space now rushed towards the golden-robed man. Good, good, good this is interesting. The golden-robed man's lips arched upwards. The lotus-shaped extraordinary flames that had surfaced around him absorbed the extraordinary flames that were heading for him in all directions. You are truly powerful. If you were not limited by the spirit energy in this realm, you would probably be powerful enough to fight me. A pity that you will die here today. The golden-robed man laughed coldly. Swoosh. Before the ultimate elder could speak, Yi King Tung flicked numerous crimson flames towards him. In the void, the crimson flames soon transformed into the color of black ink. You think too highly of yourself. When he saw that, a trace of disdain surfaced in the golden robed man's eyes. Compared to his lotus shaped extraordinary flame, the power of all flames were futile. The golden robed man waved his right arm, and a tongue of lotus shaped extraordinary flame rushed forth. But to the shock of the golden robed man, the black flames instantly devoured his lotus-shaped extraordinary flame. Boom, boom. There was a loud crash as the black flames that were filled with the aura of extermination exploded. The golden-robed man was too close and was caught off guard. The aftershock of the black flames explosion forced him to retreat by dozens of meters. Extraordinary flame. The golden-robed man looked at Yi Kington in some surprise. 